parliament is almost contingent on a candidate's success at the parliamentary primaries. Hence, in as much as we call on the youth to seize the opportunity, we wish to state that political parties have also the largest role to play in the decrease or increase of youth membership in parliament. And we urge them to ensure that more of our younger people get to parliament. Unfortunately, in spite of the role that political parties can play in getting young people elected to parliament, they have not been proactive in doing this. They have sometimes placed imponderable hurdles in the ways of young people and deliberately frustrated some of them in their bid to go to parliament. So the current number of young people in parliament, it's only 5%. Even that 5%, I am saying it is purely accidental and not as a result of any deliberate policy of political parties to ensure the election of young people in parliament. The 5% who are there, it's not because some political parties wanted them to. It's purely accidental. We call on political parties to encourage young people to contest their upcoming parliamentary primaries by rethinking the open and surreptitious obstacles including high cost of filing fees, high cost of campaigning, accentuated by the almost institutionalized corrupt norm of bribing party delegates, and the bogusly disingenuous refrain of asking the youth to bid their time. Always, oh, bid your time. Always bid your time for us to finish. Why? Political parties that would frustrate the quest for youth selection to parliament, in my view, must be taught painful lessons. In this regard, we at the Youth Bridge Research Institute call on young people who are interested to be selected to parliament, but are demoralized by the hurdles and frustrations from the political parties to commence their activism and door-to-door -door campaign in the bid to test their acceptance and popularity. Once acceptance and popularity is secured behind the scenes, we urge the youth who may be frustrated by their political parties to dare to contest the parliamentary elections as independent candidates. For, in political science, it is the interest of constituents that matter in any parliamentary and representative democracy and not the whimsical and capricious desires of political parties. So, young people, the youth of Ghana, we call on you to study the terrain, look at frustrating hurdles. If you think that you have what it takes to contest, if you've done your own research and consultations, and your constituents believe you have what it takes to represent them, Break the ranks. Flout frustrating hurdles and go as independent candidates. If in your judgment you believe you have what it takes to serve the people better. And if your behind the scenes consultations show that the constituents believe you can serve them better. In our view, this is one sure way of ending the undemocratic practice of political party imposition of candidates on constituents.